what is up guys tyree gaming here welcome back to another video we are back with the fx racer series and we've got um the turkish grand prix barring grand prix again recording messed up uh, but we did end up winning that race and we are now seven points behind peter in the championship but yeah the recording messed up and another weird thing is though when you pause when i pause the game in the championship like in the world championship bit if i pause the race it like glitches and then I have to restart the race, so that's that's kind of a reason why I decided because it was it was I was restarting it so much that I just decided to just skip it. Uh, we qualify fifth in the Turkish Grand Prix, just behind Peter. A uh, pretty decent lap to be fair, but again, we're not the fastest um, in the straight line, and I feel like around Turkey it kind of lets you down because there's loads of straights. Uh, it's going to be a wet one though, so. It could change things up as we go to the Grand Prix then. Starting from P5, Verstappen on pole. Five red lights and we are on the way for the Turkish Grand Prix. And it's a decent getaway again. Peter covers us off on the inside. We move to the outside and we could look to go on the outside into turn one. Although we do get a bit squeezed out and we have to keep our place. But Leclerc ends up losing three places there. As I, Or he might have lost two to me and Peter. But yeah, he gets moved down to P5. We're in P4. We almost overtake Peter, who's trying to overtake Dennis. So all three of us, the championship contenders, I would say, um, battling for uh, the lead of the race as well. Verstappen's got a good getaway. We kind of drop back behind Peter, but then slowly starting to catch him up as he goes. Chooses a weird line there. Sticks right to the inside of that corner. But this is where things could happen. This, this turn last season... Provided so many accidents all my days. Turkish Grand Prix last season was one that had it felt like a million crashes. You got taken out by both Mercedes in that uh, season as well. But th then everyone sends it, and they all go wide into that like the penultimate corners, and we don't we don't pick up any places. We just stick behind Peter. But yeah, so it's been a decent start. We've moved up a place, but we still need to overtake Peter because that's our main goal every race now, to finish ahead of him and Dennis, to be fair. Uh, we don't need Dennis picking up huge points. As we're side by side with Peter on the outside, can we make a move? It's only on lap two, and we're already battling our championship rival. And we go around his outside, but we lock up and go wide, and it forces him to overtake us back for P3. Can we send it down the inside? No, we can't. We just don't have enough um, on the brakes there. But yeah, so we don't really need... Dennis picking up a P2 finish will not help us out in the championship. He would close up to us and Peter. So yeah, it's not the best thing to happen. Although I do, like for him, obviously he wants to score the best results he can. But in the championship scheme of things, it's not the best result for us. As we're side by side with Peter on this back straight uh, in the wet. And... Taking on what happened last lap, everyone went wide. We break early, let Peter go wide, and it's smart. But Peter, we felt a nudge on our rear end. And if you look on the mini map, there was a car off the track, and I think that was him. So he must have fallen outside of the points now, probably in around P12, uh, P11. And that's catastrophic from Peter early on. And that's why I said we broke, we braked early, uh, slammed on the brakes, turned in, made the switch back, but then I felt something on. Um, my right rear so yeah that was probably him and then he must have spun around or something but I think he did regain himself to around P12 or P11 like I said but moving on lap 4 now we are in obviously P3 after that incident chasing after Dennis Verstappen's pulled away he's doing really good in this race picking up a pole and maybe potentially a win with side by side with Dennis through that tight uh, left and right hander we pull to the outside again we seem to favour outside overtakes more than inside. This time, we dive down the inside and we, we make contact with Dennis and it's big contact. And it sends Dennis off, sends us off into the wall. And that is not good in the rain. Luckily, we didn't have to retire from that race. I was so, so shook for a minute that we were going to have to retire. But uh, it is clear that obviously we had to let the cars go by because we were off the track. But yeah, uh, that was not good. We are down now side by side with Williams car we're gonna break early let him go and then no wait the Williams car almost turns us upside down Peter somehow gets past us we're down to like p19 what is going on 
P19 in this race. P18. So the, I thought it must have been Peter side by side, and I just didn't see him. Blinded by the Williams car, I break to let Peter uh, to let the car through. It was Peter, so I turned in. And then I just see a Williams come out of nowhere with P with P. I mean, by lap six with P16, we make further contact. Carlos Sainz, and it's not good contact. It spins him out. Uh, yeah. So more contact. We are up into P15 though. But this is huge on the championship. So we make contact uh, with Peter and Dennis. So all of us are scoring at this at this the way it's going now. We're all scoring low points finishes. But now. The rain has stopped and everyone is going to be coming in for their pit stops. And I'm battling uh, Gabriel here, who's fighting for like P14s, man. What is going on with him and the Red Bull? His teammates lead in the race and he's in a Red Bull. The same Red Bull he's in like P14. I don't know what's going on with him this season. Um, yeah, but we, we do pit in. We go for the hard tyre. And this is the thing. The AI will go for the quicker tyre. Uh, almost like six, but... As you can see in the top left, I don't think there's any more rain coming. So I've gone for the hards because the track will eventually dry up to the point where um, the hards will probably be the best tyre suited for the track. They'll go longer as well because it's only a 20 lap race. We've got 13 laps to go. If we can just put on two hards, we'll probably be good. Although we could do another strategy. We could go to maybe mediums and then softs to finish, but... Maybe we will do that to just to change up the tyres and see the different pace. But we could end up finishing uh, in some good points if we get the strategy right, as we have done so many times in the past. Because these AI are not really smart on strategy. As we see so Leclerc's pitting in, Hayden, so some cars didn't even come in on that lap, which I find interesting because the rain had stopped pretty much at the start of that lap, of lap 6. But yeah, they didn't come in as we are side by side battling for P14 is just up ahead there. Peter is battling for P13. As I think a couple cars went wide there. We're still battling Gabriel here on the exit of the Red Bull car. On the back straight. Can look at the difference in pace between Gabriel and me on the straight. It's, it's actually shocking, man. Like, we have no straight line speed. As Gabriel squeezes us off way too uh, aggressively there. And Schumacher is making a free wide move with Kulis and Peter. And Gabriel spun round. I don't know how that's happened. And Schumacher... Uh, it's almost spun round with the Williams car, so it's all kicking off here in the Turkish Grand Prix. Kulis and Schumacher side by side, we can maybe be a bit patient or dive down the inside of the Williams driver. And then on the outside of Schumacher, we're making quick progress with these moves, just as I say that we can't even get the uh, Schumacher, our teammate by the way, who's down in P12. Not good for all. It seems like the second drivers of teams, man. They're just not doing as well as the first drivers. As we look, we we go ahead to the end of lap eight. We lock up and go wide, and that is because of a collision again with Peter. I think I didn't catch it off cam uh, on camera though. So yeah, I think because we were side by side with Peter and Schumacher. Schumacher actually ended up not getting away, not too bad. But Peter got just he got spun. I think he ended up in the barriers actually. And yes, who? Not good for him. We locked up, just went a bit wide. That's all that happened, because it was free wide into that like the back straight corner, and I was on the inside. Schumacher in the middle, and Peter on the outside. He Peter just got squeezed out as Bottas. We squeezed out. We're up into P12, chasing after Coolis now. So it's still not even in the points yet, man. Uh, but it's lap nine now. So. Now we move on to lap 11 and our hards are still doing good for tyre wear. Unlike these guys ahead, they're going to need to start pitting soon because like I said, our hards last way longer than other tyres as, we, as we've seen in the past. And they, I think, are the best race tyre in this game because they, they always, they never let me down. I pretty much use hards in every dry race as we get past the, uh, the Ferrari car of Russell. And that is another good move. We're up into P8 on lap 11 so that is good and these guys are gonna start making their pit stop soon as well as we see our teammates to know they go wide there under no pressure at all and that's going to invite us in to try and overtake him as we're now on the back of Sonoda right on the back of him go around the outside and we get p7 so that is good progress from us once again 
and and on lap 13 then we're up into p6 because the guys ahead have pitted so the strategy plays in this race have been great and more guys are coming into the pit stops now we see dennis our championship rival win and another two cars that i didn't catch on camera but i think they are uh verstappen yeah and Leclerc as well uh so the race leaders verstappen still ahead of us even after the pit stop man but he's been very dominant today great race from him salvador actually leads the race at the moment though and hayden's just behind him so actually uh, we move on lap 14, they're both probably going to pit on this lap, I would say. And we're right behind Verstappen. And we make contact with Verstappen. And it's major contact, we're going to have to come in. We've definitely got some front wind damage now. We're going to go onto the medium tyres. But it's going to be a slower stop because of that front wind damage. And it's all gone wrong here in the Grand Prix. So, the, I mean, that crash didn't even lose us that much time. It's just a pit stop, man. What? How, how do we make that that hard of contact with Verstappen? I don't even know. As now there's a car on our inside. It's Sonoda and Dragovic. So two cars sent it down the inside of us. Uh, and now we're down to P12. But we are on fresh medium tyres. That should go to the end of the race, I presume. So it's just about now seeing when these guys ahead of us uh, pit. If they haven't already, like Djokovic's tyres are wearing out. Uh, so we get past him pretty easily, up into P11. Sonoda, who we just got past a few laps ago. We're going to go overtake him again. That's a nice move, very smooth. Up into, should be P10. We'll be on the inside of him. Can we keep it on track? No, we can't. But we do. We have actually got past him already. Before we even get to that corner. And I didn't even realise it whilst I was driving. But we already did. So coming off, obviously, we won that last race, but obviously recording didn't work. But yeah, so we need another good result to follow up and get some momentum in the championship. Stroll pits in from P5 and Russell pits in from P4. And then the car we were just about to overtake also pits in uh, from P9. So after those rounds of pit stops, we're up into P7, which is good. It's now just to see if the top five or the top six if their uh, tyres can hold out to the end and if they won't, if they can't hold out then we'll be snapping at the hills for a chance to finish in the top 6, potentially even uh, top 5, top 4 dare I say a podium, maybe there, there's a small chance I would say of a podium if the strategy goes well, but these guys are fighting up ahead and it's slowing them down so much that by lap, the end of lap 16 going on to lap 17 we've caught them and it's Ocon in P6, uh, just ahead of us there. And uh, yeah, so if these guys carry on fighting, then obviously we're going to be right uh, behind their gearbox. And we're closing in on Ocon right now. As we see, can we get past him on the outside? Pretty easy move, actually. Uh, easier than I expected it to be. I was scared we would make contact, actually. Here's on our outside, though. So we go into this corner. We think about like making a half dive on Hayden, but we pull out of it. And now we see there's two cars ahead on the mini map as we go down the inside of Hayden. It's a beautiful move again, very smooth on the turning. And we're up into P5 before these guys are pitted. And the Salvatore and Dennis ahead of us, they haven't even pitted yet, so we're closing in. And this is based purely of pure pace in uh, in this Grand Prix, then so. I like how we're going in this compu. We could get a podium, like I said, if we can overtake Salvatore pretty quickly. But we're almost on to the end of lap 18. So it's going to be two and a half laps to go now. On the inside of Salvatore, this is where we crash with Verstappen. And luckily nothing happens. We're on the outside. Got some good straight line speed, it seems. We're going to break early, though, like we did to Peter early on. And we get past Salvatore on the switchback. And we do, but we feel another little nudge. Salvatore did... I think kind of half spin it, but he regained himself and kept the P, uh, P5 spot it was. And now, set our sights after Dennis, and there's two cars ahead of... Oh no, wait, this is Peter. My bad, I thought this was Dennis. So we're going to lap our championship rival. That is crazy, man. That is crazy. We're going to lap the guy that's first in the championship. The guy who we've been fighting this whole uh, season for. So this is now Dennis. 
who we now have basically one and a half laps to pass unless he pits on this lap or the next lap we go down the inside into this next corner we just can't get it on the turning like we did to Hayden it's not as smooth and I don't think he's gonna come in this lap probably he's probably gonna hang it out but he gets wide he goes off the track and we go down the inside of him and we should be past him although he might come back at us with his speed or maybe not and now we got Ricardo a lapped car ahead of us and there's a huge ga ah, gap uh, to the leaders and a full contact and then it's absolutely dive bombs us and causes a massive pile up at the end of the race Salvatore getting involved with that as well that is crazy from Dennis what what are you doing mate he absolutely sent it what even was that that was massive contact we're lucky we didn't get out of the race he basically speared us for Stappen round the final corner to win the Turkish Grand Prix Leclerc is in second now we were catching Leclerc to be fair Peters is ahead of us we didn't get to lap him in the end but yeah so we finished at P3 solid result but what the hell was that ending to that race that was crazy Dennis man I mean he kept his P4 though so that's really lucky for him that is really lucky for Dennis there uh, but there is the top three the podium we get on it somehow uh, yeah so chaotic race in Turkey like last season but not not as not as much crashes but this is the championship and with peter not getting any points we gained 15 on him and we take the lead by eight points uh dennis has dropped off actually he's p5 uh leclerc and verstappen have overtook him and verstappen looks like to be edging it into the fight and leclerc as well uh we take the lead next is our home race we'll be looking to do very well in that one but guys if you did enjoy this one Make sure to smash like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.